another AI prompt engineering walkthrough using Microsoft Image Creator. As always, the mission is to create some really cool artwork in under 15 seconds. I've seen it take up to 30 seconds, but we typically aim for about 10 to 15. The point is you can dream it and have it created with the blink of an eye. If you're new to prompt engineering, take a look at my previous videos where I explain just how it empowers us and our imagination to use artificial intelligence to bring to life amazing images that defy our creative boundaries. Dive into the digital art scene where creativity meets technology. Discover the magic behind every stroke and pixel in today's journey. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications for more artistic adventures. Let's start today by discussing a few ways you've been using AI without even realizing it. One, recommendation engines. Netflix, YouTube, and other platforms use AI to give you recommendations on what to watch next based upon your history and watch patterns. Two, voice assistants. Alexa, Siri, Google Assistants are all powered by AI. Just like we're talking to AI through prompt engineering, we've been doing that with our actual voices for years. Three, Health Diagnostics. AI is employed in health diagnostics to analyze patient data, suggest treatment options, and identify early signs of diseases, as well as automate administrative tasks. Four, GPS tracking. Whether you use Google, Waze, MapQuest, or others, AI determines the route. Again, like prompt engineering, we can change the prompt to gas saving or other customizations, and AI will respond with the route that coincides with our needs. 5. Online Customer Support Artificial intelligence devoid of emotions now stand in that role. It's worth noting for one's own well-being and mental health that expressing anger towards an unfeeling entity is more likely to affect you than it is them. Let's jump right in and head over to Image Creator. As I mentioned before, this landing page can be very inspirational, especially if you're just starting out. Image Creator gives you samples and ideas to either get you started or help you add additional elements to what you're already doing. So take a moment to look at those prompts and see how it enhances your designs. I've been doing this for a while and I still use them for creative ideas. So if you use them, leave me a comment. Let me know your experience, whether it be good or bad. Today, we're gonna to go all out with some more complex images, starting with the Phoenix. Let's create a close-up photo realistic zoom image of a Phoenix rising from the water. The top half is on fire, the bottom half is water. The Phoenix is ascending into a black hole vortex above with clouds and thunder. Although this is a more detailed prompt, you can always customize it even more to get an image that you really like. You could give the phoenix a gender or have it ascend it from fire instead of water. When you use the prompt, I always recommend tweaking it, even if using the same text but slightly just rewording to see what happens. Boom, about 10 seconds. Let's take a look. I don't think you can ever really go wrong with the Phoenix rising. The concept in itself is pretty cool, so playing around with it in Image Creator to bring it to life can be a lot of fun. Again, plenty more you can do even if you want to just change the background or incorporate additional elements and detail. Notice I said zoom, but it didn't really do that. It could take some adjusting of the prompt, but either way, it's still a nice design. Next up, let's create an image of a black rose with a green thorn covered stem and dew covered petals. The rose is growing from the concrete in Times Square with a low camera angle. Again, plenty you could do with this image. You could change the location, you can change the colors, play around with the camera angle, and more. The rose that grew from the concrete has special meaning to me. It's also a powerful poem written by the late great Tupac Shakur that captures resilience and determination. Now, if you notice, the message here is basically saying it's gonna take some time to create the image. Now, this doesn't mean check back tomorrow. It may just need some extra time. So to allow it some time to do its thing, I'm just gonna wait about 15 seconds before checking in. About 15 seconds later, we've got our rose. Let's see what we got. And here we have it, 
Again, I really love this piece and because of its significance to me, this is an image I would easily have printed and hung up in my house. Notice how the angle of the camera changes the image. It really makes for a cool and more original design when you do this. So play around with it. When you incorporate multiple elements, it's really going to set your images apart from the rest of the crowd. And finally, let's close it out with some animals. Let's create a high angle shot of a lion and his pride sitting on a cliff overlooking the ocean. There's a large haystack, the sun is reflecting off the water, and there's a large wave heading towards the shore. Now, I created this prompt to give you an idea of, again, what changing the camera angles can produce. There's many cinematic angles, and maybe I'll do a video soon that focuses specifically on those angles. This can be really fun and it can also set your images apart because not enough people are using camera angle prompts. You can look at other images and the angles are typically going to be the same. Here we dare to be different, original, and more creative. You'll notice once again we're seeing that same message which is going to happen so like the previous design we're just going to give it about 15 seconds before checking the results. And there you have it. Now, when I said haystack, I was more thinking about the huge haystack rock in Cannon Beach, but hey, that was my fault. I should have been more specific. Nonetheless, it's still a cool design and it gives us an opportunity to see another camera angle. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed another walkthrough of Microsoft Image Creator AI Prompt Engineering. If you found this helpful or at least entertaining, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. As always, the prompts will be in the comments, so have fun. Until next time, happy creating.